On or about February 13, 2014, Praveen Varighese was murdered in Carbondale, Illinois. The Jackson County Coroner apparently regurgitating the report created by a Dr. Jacoby, a pathologist from Evansville, Indiana, publicly stated that Praveen died of hypothermia, with no noticeable trauma and that foul play was not suspected. A second autopsy performed a few days later by a well-regarded pathologist hired by the Varighese family stated that Praveen died as a result of blunt force trauma to the face and head and that there were four different blows. Further, an injury to his thigh and an injury to his forearm that went all the way to the bone. Probably a defensive type wound and possibly from being struck, in my opinion, with an object such as a baseball bat or a piece of heavy pipe. Here are a few questions. Was the Dr. Jacoby hired to help cover up the murder? Was he competent? Was he under the influence of drugs when he performed the autopsy? Or was he drunk? And why won't the state attorney Michael Carr release the report? What are they hiding? What are they both hiding? Does he think that Praveen's family and Archangels of Justice will go away? Doesn't he know he is obstructing justice? Shouldn't Dr. D Jacoby be charged for his false report? And most of all, shouldn't Carr be prosecuted for his very obvious misconduct? Stay tuned.